What are you Halted Spark here and welcome back to the Halted Spark channel. Today we're playing Eco. This is part 9, I think, to the series. I'm not quite sure, but I'm pretty sure it's 9. As you can see, there are a few things that I've changed, and I'll show you the most notable change that you'll probably never notice, unless you've been, like, like really paying attention. This house is completely different. It's hard to recognize, I know, but it is, I, I promise, it is completely different. And now you're probably questioning what's different, unless you already see it. Well, uh, the floors are flat now. They are completely flat, starting with from here to there. Uh, there used to be stairs right there where I'd have to go down in between these two sections. And I, it took me about four hours, I'm not gonna lie. It took me a really long time, like a long time. I've been playing this game for forever now. It's like I, I can't... I, I got off the game and I went upstairs to go get some food and I was like zoning out because I still thought I was playing eco. But anyways, uh, when I go inside now, everything is completely flat. The reason that I did that was I thought it looked really ugly how it was bending up like that before. But lo and behold, everything is completely flat and I love it. It looks way better and it's just super nice. If you're wondering why those are there, it's because the stockpile pile was full earlier, and I just laid them right there. Not gonna fix it, not really an issue. But, and I also got the farm done. The farm is completely done. I harvested a ton of tomatoes, like we got around 100 now, I got some in storage as well. Uh, so that's going really good, and this house over here as well, uh, it is... Uh, I changed the location for the beds and stuff. So the bed is right here, and there's nothing over here besides the hole that you fall down. Which is awesome. Because, you know, nothing like waking up in the morning and going out your door and just falling to your death. Or like breaking your leg or something. But we should have enough stone to finish this. So, let's fill that in. Maybe we don't. I... Oh wait, no we do, we do. The stone is down at the bottom level. But, we need ten stone... Or wait... No, I think I screwed that up. Cool thing! I found out. Okay, also, if you're wondering what the goal is for this video, I was playing long enough that I actually got a star. Uh, so, we can go down to right here, uh, and learn our tailoring specialty, which is amazing. Also, we got something here, or, wait, no, it's this, this that was glowing. Okay, so, what is this, gathering? Uh, it's farming, farming. So, it doubles the speed of related tables when alone, increases the crafting speed of related tables when they share a room, it's the same table, about 20%. Um... I'd say alone, because our farming, it's double for one, and our farming table's also by itself right now anyways, so it works out relatively well. What was I going to say? I'll, I'll explain what I was going to say a minute ago, but I gotta do this because I'll forget about it. So the goal is, in this video, is to get the windmill, and we can finally get the Erestro, or however you pronounce it, to operate, because we will have a power grid, power grid, but we need to get some cloth first, and... I think, uh, oh, that's not the thing I meant to press. Ah, yes, perfect. Okay, so as you can see, we need eight fabric tags, which is just cloth, uh, to make a windmill. So we'll go up, we'll make those eight cloth, and we will have our power grid, which is pretty crazy because I don't think we've ever had a power grid before in this game. Uh, in one of my series, anyways, I've always stopped playing before that. So... Lo and behold, something crazy is about to happen. Oh, and I also want to mention this. You probably saw it, but I just want to show you. Down over this hill right here, which I don't know if it's a big deal. I imagine it is because we use coal still to this day. There's a massive coal vein over here. Like, it's really big. Like, this is all coal. So, we might be able to use that for something good later on. And there's also this right here. I don't really know what that is. I don't know if we can... Uh, pick it up, or maybe we can. Is it just dirt? Oh, it's just dirt. Okay, cool. I thought it might have been gold or something. Sad, sad day. Oh, and also, as you've probably noticed as well, I got this ramp here. I started working on making a ramp to go down to the beach so we can get uh, mortar. So sand for the mortar, and we can put it in a cart and then bring it all the way up here. Be really useful. We don't need it yet because we've been using thatch to make mortar, but I mean, hey, it'll be good when it's done. I was just gonna make some more mortared stone, but we don't even need to. We got the rest that we need right here. So we can finally finish 
this little tiny part right here and then it'll be completely done and that is what I call beautiful that is amazing oh I got a torch right here too which I think looks pretty atmospheric if you ask me look at this that's gonna be the thumbnail right there just like that but we're gonna have a windmill in frame oh it'd be everything it'd be perfect I hate this okay one 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 thing I got as well that I, I absolutely despise. So instead of this game taking materials out of your inventory when you get to craft something, which I think it absolutely should do. So say if I craft uh, all of this cloth, uh, it makes sense if it took all the cloth that I needed out of my inventory, or the, I mean, plant fibers out of my inventory and put it into the bench. And then the bench would, you know, start crafting it. But no, I gotta stay here and do this and keep feeding it in and then wait wait and wait I'm waiting here just to prove a point point. and then just as it's about to finish I'll show you there now look it doesn't have anything stored inside of it when I crafted all that so now I have to stay here and put more stuff in it this can be resolved with a stockpile but I just think that's unnecessary because it should just be able to take the items out of your inventory and put them in the bench I think that makes a lot more sense but nonetheless I will claim the stockpile. I don't have any more land claim papers. Never mind. I won't claim the stockpile. And just like that, we can officially craft a windmill, which puts out 200. Oh, wow. 200 watts of mechanical power. Okay. Well, we'll build that. And how many minutes does that take? Five minutes. So I'll skip to when five minutes is over and we'll officially have our windmill placed down and we will officially have power. Okay. So it should be done. Oh, shit. Oh my god. I don't know what happened to my camera, but it doesn't seem like my camera's on one point. It just seems like it's... Yeah, like... I don't know if I got my FOV too high or what. No, I'm not exactly sure what causes that, but like you, uh... I don't know. I'm trying to point out things because this game is in early access, so I feel like if I point out more things, then it gives the developers, if they ever see this, an opportunity to fix the problems. But it seems like the uh, camera pivots along the outer perimeter of uh like i know in unreal engine it's called a um oh what is it called like a pawn uh it's a little capsule and it has a camera on it it seems like it's pivoting on the outside instead of the step uh the center and it's causing the character to instead of pivot around my feet it pivots around the outside perimeter of my feet so it's like my head is behind my feet which causes me to go through walls and stuff i think that's the problem uh i don't know I, it, something I noticed it just makes it a little bit harder to navigate so just point that out but we should officially have our windmill which we do so let's go and place that this thing is massive too wow just place it on the side of the house like that that works <laughs> should we though I don't know I don't want it to hit that they hit the tent but all right so we'll try and place it can't place they're blocked okay Okay, so I think this is our issue. I think the campsite's in the way because it's it's right there. I got hiccups, so I'm gonna have to jump cut because I'm hiccuping constantly. But we're gonna get rid of our tent and and see. Oh my god, I'm going to going to flip and see if this works. And it does. That is crazy. Look at that. We actually officially got a windmill. Actually. Alright, I think that's better. That looks a bit bit better in my opinion. I hate hiccups. Oh my god, I'm actually so sick of it. But we got our windmill there officially. So let's check. We are, in fact, making mechanical power. And I can't craft crushed stone yet because we don't have mining. Well, that's for another day. We got power, and that's the main thing. So now we have the ability to do anything that revolves around power. Alright, anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. We've got quite a bit of done, uh, we got quite a bit done in this video. Well, I'd consider quite a bit, bit done because, you know, we got power now. The place looks way better than it did before, so that's a lot to me. But yeah, it's been Halt Spark. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this on the channel. But yeah, it's been Halt Spark, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.